For this word problem, we need to create a mathematical model and then use the model to solve the problem. A cyclist was run over by a car. The driver of the car had pressed his brakes and the skid marks on the road measured 160 feet long. The driver declared to the police that he was driving at 30 miles an hour. The police knows that the length L of the skid marks vary directly with the square of the velocity V of the car and that the skid marks at 30 miles per hour in ideal conditions should measure 40 feet long. At what velocity was this car running before applying the brakes? So this is a very interesting uh, situation. There are some skid marks on the road that let the police know how fast this car was driving. So we need to see if this driver is telling the truth. He said he's driving, he was driving at 30 miles per hour. So let's make a mathematical equation here. Um, it says here that the length L, length L, so I'm going to write L, of the skid marks vary directly, that's a linear equation, so equals k directly with the square of the velocity v. So that means I'm going to square the velocity. Okay? And now in order to create a mathematical model, I need to find k. So they give us some information. It says here that the skid marks at 30 miles an hour that's the velocity, should measure 40 feet long. So that's the length. I'm going to plug in these values into this equation here. And I'm going to write 40 is equal to k and v is 30 squared. And that equals k times 900. So if I want to find k, I want to isolate k, I divide by 900 each side. And when I do that, I find that k is equal to 40 over 900, which is the same thing as 4 over 90, which is 2 over 45. So here's your k. And I like to leave the k as a fraction just because it's more precise. And once you find k, you take this uh, equation that we wrote initially and we fill it in with our k. So I'm going to rewrite it as L is equal to 2 over 45 V squared. Okay, now this is my mathematical model for this situation. I can use this model to answer the question they're asking. At what velocity was this car running before applying the brakes? So I need to know the length of the skid marks so I can solve for V. And that's the first thing they gave us at the beginning of the problem. They told us the skid marks measured 160 feet long. So I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to write 160 is equal to 2 over 45, which is your k, times v squared. Now, I want to isolate v, so that means I have to get rid of this. Okay, I can cross multiply 45 and 160. And that gives you equals 2 times v squared. And now I can divide by 2, both sides by 2, and I get that v squared is equal to 160 times 45 over 2. Now, I want v. I don't want v squared. Okay, so I have to take square root both sides. So I'm going to calculate how much this is. Let's get our calculator. 160 times 45 equals, and then we divide by 2, 
and you get 3,600. So you get that v squared is equal to 3,600, and if we take square root both sides, we get that v is equal to 60 miles per hour. So this driver, who allegedly was driving at 30 miles an hour, was really driving at approximately 60 miles per hour. So he will definitely be in trouble for this accident. I hope you understood. I'll see you in the next example.